Can we have the market? Here we will find everything that comes straight from the farm. Eggs, pork, chicken, beef, everything. Fresh fruits. I just the key. So that's that's the inside and that's the outside. And caipira. Caipira means free range. It's not like the range chickens that we usually buy. These ones have a tap meat and they're more skinny, let's say, but they're very healthy to eat. And they're quite yellow and they've got more bones. Yes, that's correct. So look here. The funny thing about Brazil is they put lettuces on a stick yes. in the markets. So this is tapioca, fresh tapioca. Tapioca is like that long uh, potato kind of thing, which is very common in Brazil. And it's delicious, especially with barbecues. Oh my god! <laughs> Feira is how we call street markets. And the Feira is not just a place for foods and crafts, but also people. The people in Brazil are great and they will stop you and start chatting to you. Wow. Guys, that's an amazing type of juice you probably never tried in your life. That's cane juice. The cane basically just goes through the machine and the juice comes out. That's sugar in its most liquid form. You should try it if you come to Brazil, but have it with pastel. I will see if I can find some pastel to show to you guys. Quanto anos você fazer isso? That's really interesting this. Wow, very interesting. You pull that. Okay. Okay. Wow, very interesting. Okay, sing, sing, sing. Ah. Oh wow, so here's the chickens and it really smells like chicken. So those apparently, all those eggs are probably from all of these. Very interesting. And this is where you can buy your crisps in bulk. Wow, look here, so these are all flowers, are they? Yeah, these are flowers. Oh, wow. Many types of flowers. You have orange flower, tapioca flower, tapioca starch, uh, wheat flower, all sorts of things, and also some Brazilian snacky. Oh. Oh yeah, these are snacks. Like this crisps, is corn. Almost. This is puff rice. Oh, puff rice. Sweet puff rice. Oh, it's, so it's got sugar and it's colored. Yeah. Very interesting how you can just buy it like this and you get it by the bag kind of thing. Ah, the smell of spices and fresh foods as you walk by is amazing. So tell me what this is, Naz. You saw the cane juice back there, right? Yeah. The juice is just one of the things that comes out of the cane. This is molasses. But this is like just the just the cane juice that's been... This is before it got, gets refined into sugar, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So now I think she's going to ask for some coffee to be ground. So what do we have here? We have coarse ground coffee for my French friends. Freshly ground coffee. Freshly wow. ground coffee and it smells so Ask good. Ask where the beans come from. De Minas. The coffee grains come from Minas Gerais. It smells so good. So Minas Gerais is the next state next to Goiânia. Neighbors. Neighbors. Minas Gerais produces really good stuff. Hug to you guys from Minas. These are all peppers. Yeah, they have peppers. Okay, yeah. different types of peppers. Wow, yeah. look at them. Some of them are very spicy, some of them are not. One of them is what we call pimenta de cheiro. It just smells and tastes really good, but it's sweet. And you can flavor things with it. Amazing. And this is coriander, I think, right? Black pepper, maybe? And, oh wow. Lots of garlic. Brazilians love their garlic. Unfortunately, we cannot put garlic in a coffee. Garlic and coffee are the two things we love the most. Oh, and there's the tapioca. Tapioca, yes, that's correct. That's how it comes. Of course, you cannot come to a beta in Brazil without trying a pastel. So this is how they make the pastels. <laughs> when you come to the markets, you can even eat at the market. Yeah. Like here, we are sitting on the, da on the table. They are right there and then they brought our pastel to the table and our freshly squeezed juice. Very good, it's like freshly squeezed and it's sweet and acidic. We ordered ground beef and cheese pastel. This is it, huh? So it's like yes. a fried pastry. 
Do you want to be the first one to try? Ooh, let's give it a go. The meat is down here. I want to try the meat there. It's because it's loose inside. Ooh. Careful, it's going to fall off. So it's like ground beef. Uh, cheese. Is, is this with cheese? Yeah. And it's in like a pastry that's been deep fried. Yes. Mm. What makes a good pastel is not only the filling but the dough. If the pastry is good, then the pastel is good. And this one's very good. And what's this? It's like some coleslaw to put inside. I generally prefer without it. What, what are the these? Mashish. It's a legume. Okay. Right there is lard inside those bottles and those smaller containers. People use lard here to cook a lot. They consider it healthy. I don't cook with lard. So that's tapioca again. That's tapioca again. It's a big thing here in Brazil. Lots of fruits and veggies here. Lots of veggies. A lot of things here will be organic, but you need to ask if they are or not, because organic is not quite a thing here in Brazil yet. So a lot of people just grow this in their vegetable gardens and they use no pesticides, but there isn't this knowledge of, oh, I need to advertise that's organic because more people will look for it. Some of the more formal stores, you can buy some organic stuff. Yeah, it will say organic, it will be all in green and stuff. In Brazil, there are tons of these combis because up until I think it was the early 2000s, maybe 2002 or maybe later, mm -hmm. uh, they were still making these combis in Brazil. Oh yeah. Old style. And they are used mostly for cargo here, like especially for this type of cargo for markets. And the funny thing about Brazil is you have van life. Van life is in combis like this. Yeah. We met some the other day, so check out that video. I will leave the link to their channel down below. Oh, wow, so they sell honey in different colors. Colors and flavors. Oh wow, different colors and flavors of honey. This is engraved in Brazilian history. Like when I was a kid, this thing was already around. Oh, and there's even a doll there, look. <laughs> a lot of the people working here, they bring their children along. And here's another pastel place. Another one. Yeah, pastel is a thing you mainly find in fetus in the markets like this. Oh wow, look at all the piqui, Naz. So this is the, the cusks, the, what's it, the husks. The of husks the, of the piqui. Of the, piqui. the shell, I, I say the it's shell. a shell. It's a soft shell, but it's a shell. And uh, the piqui is the fruit inside it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is soft, Naz. Almost like an avo. Yeah. Wow. So this is, what is this? This is okay. pine fruit. Okay, so we're getting some pine fruit. Yes. Well, one of the funny things about Brazil is look at the eggs. The eggs here are not refrigerated. No. Whereas in America and Canada and places, they are refrigerated. It's because here the chickens are vaccinated against salmonella, okay. so there isn't a big risk of salmonella. Therefore, the eggs stay out tight. But if you ever put an egg in a fridge, you need to keep it in a fridge. Suddenly, I recognize someone <laughs> who I hadn't seen for many years. This is Ana Carla. She used to come to my kids' Bible study when she was really small. And seeing her again was such a joyful moment. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Guys, you won't believe it. We happened upon this beautiful girl here in the market. Her name is Ana Carla. <laughs> she used to come to my Bible study when she was a kid, like about four years old when we came here to her church which is really close to the market and she's selling some stuff to help the church uh, and so real brazilian brigadeiro real brazilian brigadeiro what is, is what is brigadeiro yeah, brigadeiro is like it's a chocolate bowl made made with chocolates and chocolate, chocolate sprinkles yeah chocolate let's see, sprinkles let's see. and other stuff <laughs> can i test it you can <laughs> Stephen will try it and tell us what he thinks okay of that. let's see I'm gonna try one of these <laughs> So this is a brigadeira. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lots of chocolate. Really good, really good. Can okay. I try? Mm. 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 Not too much sugar. No. Did you like it? Very good. So today's a beauty day. They are doing it to raise money to help people who have no money. So they are doing some hair. Later today they are going to be selling galinhada. Galinhada is rice and chicken together to raise money. One of the guys is just announcing on the microphone, inviting people to come. So yeah, it's a big thing going on today. What's your name? Prazer, Naya. 
<laughs> she was shocked that she spoke in English. And I think even more shocked to see that I speak Portuguese. She probably thought I could only speak one language. Look at the horsey over here. Do you know why this horse is there? Because it carries things to bring here. You see? In a wagon. 